What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video where today I will be talking about the Michael Jackson Special Edition albums. So basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, back in 2001, around the same time Invincible was released, Michael Jackson reissued four of his albums with bonus tracks, demos, and stuff like that. So today we're going to be taking a look at those albums. So starting off with Off The Wall Special Edition, which actually I have this one still sealed, which is nice. But Off The Wall Special Edition, it had the original album, but this one had Don't Stop To Get Enough Demo and Working Day and Night Demo. And also all the booklets also had new pictures and stuff from the eras, cause like the original booklets or whatever just had like the lyrics and stuff in it. But these new releases have pictures and stuff. So the two new demos are pretty good in my opinion. Like I really enjoy the demos for Working Day and Night and Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. And it also on on the CDs as well, they also have new interviews with Quincy Jones, Rod Temperton, and stuff like that. So yeah, off the wall special edition, I like the cover for it. Like Obviously, I prefer the original cover, but this one is pretty cool. I, I like the back picture of it. Which I like that right there. But overall, off the wall, special edition, it's not too bad. Not my least favorite, but not the best one either. Next up, we got Thriller Special Edition, which this one, in my opinion, is the second best, That, in my opinion. Because we have the original album, you know. Of course, you know, with the interviews with Quincy Jones or whatever. But we also have Someone in the Dark, which would eventually get released on Thriller 25. But back then, this was the first time it was officially released. Billie Jean original demo, which is pretty cool. And Carousel, which Carousel was also released on Thriller 25. But um, it was still great to hear it. And this one, this one, since I don't have... Since I have it opened, I will show you guys some of the pictures in it. You know, we got this one, which was on the slipcover. Um, working on Thriller. Another Thriller picture. Which, most of these pictures were, again, used in Thriller 25. But, you know, I, I still really like this special edition CD. So next up we have, in my opinion, probably the best special edition CD. We have the bad special edition CD. So this slipcover, it's nice. You know, it's black compared to the normal like white album cover. But you know, the album cover is still the same. But on this one we have, you know, the original tracks. But we have three bonus tracks. We got Streetwalker, which is great. I just can't stop loving you Spanish version, which is... Todo mi amor eres you. Something like that. I, I almost forgot it. And then we got Fly Away, which is another great song. And, um, yeah, there's also, I'm pretty sure there's also some Quincy Jones stuff on here. But, I really love all these tracks. Even though there's no demo, there's no demos on this one, it doesn't matter because these other tracks are better. And also on the back, we have a picture from the Bad Tour. And the disc is red, which I think is cool. But I will also be showing you guys the pictures for this one. We got another bad tour image. Smooth Criminal. This one was in the original. We got Liberian Girl, which is nice. And this one was also in the original, this picture back here. And we got some other ones, other cool pictures on the back. So yeah, the last special edition release which in my opinion is the lamest because Dangerous Special Edition has no new tracks, which is kind of lame in my opinion. Like some of the tracks from Escape were made during this era. So why didn't they just put them on here? But it does have a cool new back image. And let's take a look at the booklet, which this booklet better have some of the best pictures I've ever seen in it because it's all that they added. So we got a picture from Jam, The Dangerous Tour, Black or White. Who is it? The Panther Dance, and Remember the Time. 
So in my opinion, the Dangerous one is pretty lame because it doesn't have any new songs, but it still is nice to get the booklet. So I'm actually going to be talking about one more thing before we end off. We have the History Special Edition, which this one is a bootleg. Like, it was never officially released because around Invincible, when Invincible came out around that time, they released this, the part one of History, which... In my opinion, I don't know why they just released the part one. I mean, I guess for the greatest hits or whatever. But a couple years later, they released number ones and then the essentials. So I don't really know. But history, special edition, which it's basically just the original history album. Like the new songs. And this booklet is basically just the normal history booklet, um, excluding the greatest hits or whatever in it. So yeah, I am don't know why they didn't release History Special Edition. I'm just assuming that it was like the newest album out or whatever. And of course, there was no Blood on the Dance Floor Special Edition. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for more Michael Jackson videos coming soon. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.